outfit for this morning going to Typhoon Lagoon is this little dress from In The Style I'm sure you, <laughs> you can tell that I uh, like to buy my clothes from In The Style and um, it's very size inclusive so I, uh, I like to buy them from there. This belt from Primark, my Haviana sandals and I just got my bikini on underneath um, because we're going to Typhoon Lagoon this morning. I probably will continue to wear this dress throughout the rest of the day. And that's my outfit for today. Just shoved my hair up in my standard high bun. Got no makeup on. Um, don't want to be wearing makeup at, the, at a water park, so. Yeah, that's it. Morning, Good morning, guys. guys. We are going to Typhoon Lagoon today. Yes. For day seven. Yes, a water park morning. Just to rest our feet and have a little bit of time away from the heat <laughs> in some water, so. We haven't been to Typhoon Lagoon. No, we haven't. So we will be learning, just yeah. as you will be. So we'll, yeah, we'll uh, film our experience and how you access it and we'll show you around basically because it's, it's new to us, so. And we're going to be filming on our phones because we don't want to be taking this, leaving it out or just putting it in a locker, so. Yeah, and we don't want to risk the camera getting damaged by water or anything so yeah. just gonna film on our phones so if the quality is a little bit different that'll be why that's but. why <laughs> um but we're gonna get a couple of towels from here yes yeah, because so. even when we spoke to a cast member here they weren't sure whether you could just get um towels actually at typhoon lagoon yeah because we've read online the people staying at resorts can get them but she said that it's but you might have to just pay yeah so. she was saying that it was like a two dollar charge or something to get towels but um she said that we could take the towels from the pool here so we'll be taking some towels from the pool here with us so come along with us for day seven yeah mm -hmm. so we uh didn't end up getting the towels because the pool's not open yet before 10 o'clock so we're just gonna uh go down there if we have to pay a couple of dollars we have to pay so we'll just see um if you are going to typhoon lagoon you need to get the bus to Disney Springs first to then get a bus to Typhoon Lagoon. You can't just go directly there. So uh, it looks like the bus for Disney Springs is here, so let's get on it. So we're at Typhoon Lagoon now, yep. which uh, I think a lot of people were confused with the bus because a lot were saying, like, literally, we didn't have to go to Disney Springs. No, I thought we were going to have to change at Disney Springs, but the bus just came straight here, so yeah. it's good. Um, but a lot of people were confused with that. They were yeah, saying it's people. never stopped here before. Um, so yeah, they came straight here, so that's, it's good for us. We're just going to head on in and see what it's about. And then towel rental is apparently here. And locker rental is straight ahead. You can buy Disney towels here. We've got a one. And Goofy and Daisy. Some nice t shirts. That looks quite cool. You all like swim t shirts if you don't want to have your body out. You can get some of those. Is that Disney Top that I like? <laughs> the towel's $29.99. I quite like the Disney 100 one. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. It's a Small World one's cool. I like the uh, Walt Disney World, the Mickey Mouse one. 
or the one with all the characters on. Nice backpack. It's a decent size as well. How much is that one? 50? Yeah, it's not bad. Is it smart? Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. Huh? Is it kids? Nah, it's not. Oh, I like how that. Okay, so we just went to the towel rental, and if you are staying at a Disney property, they are free. So, we got four towels. <laughs> so yeah, and they said, if you need any more, just come back. So it's perfect. Oh, nice, nice little sprinkler. Soaking us there, cooling us off. So we're just going to have a look at the locker situation. Okay, so for a locker, you need to come to these machines. Standard? Yeah, so just a standard one will do. Swipe. Create a four digit passcode, so yeah. create one. So they are quite small. Quite small. Enough to get a, a handbag in. Yeah, enough to get a handbag in. But if you have, you can get a double one. So lounge fly fits in there, just nice. Got the lazy river going along here. And we are here at 12 minutes past 10. And we are here and it is very quiet. Got lots of places where we can uh, set up. This is our view. It's easy accessible to the uh, lockers for when we need to get some money out. That's us set up. Got our two little sheds and a couple of sun lounges. It's nice having your feet in the sand. If you are wanting sun lounges under um, like one of the umbrellas, you need to get here first thing to get them because obviously they're going to get taken straight away. But I'm quite happy just being out, out in the sun. Might make a sandcastle. Let's go have a little explore. Looks like there's a lot of people on the uh, lazy river now. Might have a go with that. Yeah. Emily flowing around. Is it nice? Now this is relaxing, isn't it? Try and not crash into people. Oop. Let's hit you. This is the bridge that we walked over. Ooh. Emily's spinning me around. <laughs> Don't push me, you knob. Quick 360. What's it? Well, your feet. Emily's struggling to control hers. <laughs> One of the harder bits is just getting in it at the start, but then you lean back. All right. It's harder when you've got a phone in your hand. But it's good, it's like, as you go along, you've got lifeguards. Just in case you get stuck, you're in trouble. I'm gonna push off the side. Woohoo! M. I know, I could literally do this all day. 
Beautiful. It's very relaxing, isn't it? I just hope there's no uh, waterfall or rapids at, at the bottom. <laughs> Emily's pushing me into this water spray thing. Ah! Ah! Oh, that's nice and cool. Then. Woo. That's good. Yeah. I don't know why, but Emily slowed down. I'm trying to kick to slow me down. Hang on, I might get to a wall and do it. Speed up. <laughs> Bring your legs. It's like kick. This is where we've come from. We've gone on the left lane. I don't know what she means by we'll see a surprise. Oh, uh, no, I might get wet. Yeah, doesn't matter. So even if you do go on the right hand side, then you could still get across if you could kick a bit. Huh? The what? The mist. Yeah, it's nice. They've got like little mist bits. Well, it's like nice little bit of misting. I'm trying to slow down to let Emily catch up. Nice little waterfall going on down here. And then we've got an abandoned boat. I think that cast member lied. We didn't see any surprise. There was a there was a boat. I thought it might have been like a little bit of a bumpy rapids or something, but no more, no more. And we're struggling. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? It's you? Like myself you Flynn Rider. Some water coming off the bridge. Some more misters. Might go on the other side so I don't get. Uh... So, yeah. You do get wet. It's nice. Yeah. Clear the screen. On the phone is supposed to be quite waterproof. Got it in a waterproof case. We will see if I need to put an insurance claim in. Let's see how Emily's doing. Yep, she's she's still trying to turn. <laughs> nice little. Sorry if the footage is a bit uh, wet. Okay. We might get more wet here. You see what's ahead? Oh. <laughs> I, I think we might get a little bit wet here. And we've got a uh, little hidden Mickey. Here. To be honest, I don't think there's much getting around this. Wherever you go, <laughs> we're gonna get soaked. Oh no, there's a. I've got a pile of these. So yeah, hopefully this is all fully waterproof because uh, there was no getting away from our water. Another nice waterfall. This time not spraying completely on us, but hey. Except it's getting Emily. <laughs> She's still navigating. She's still trying to get used to how to get around. Okay, so must have been a shipwreck here. Okay, so we've done one lap. Hasn't taken long. 
I um, think we're going to do one more and then we'll have a look at something else. A bit of a wander around, it'll be very nice. And Emily's actually picked up some speed, I think she hit a, a jet stream. Every now and again you come across some uh, little jets. When you get in, check a note of the name of where you got in, so you know where to get out, because some areas look the same. But luckily we saw where we were, so the shower stop's just coming up now. We'll get up, we might go in the main pool actually. Oh, Emily slowed down again. Yeah, it's where we got in, it's called Village Landings. So if you take note of where you got in, you know where to get out. Right near a Joffrey stand. Hmm? I'm just gonna head into the main pool. Oh, it's nice and warm as well. We've got lifeguards out in the middle section as well. Oh, and here comes one of the waves. They look very rough. This is a beautiful place. It's just like a proper beach. So nice. wasn't even in quarter of the wave and that wave it hit hard so be very careful uh, of how strong these waves are there's the nice beachfront bit that's just where we are just over here nice beach hut and food places are starting to open We've got this like, sort of like paddling pool a little bit, it looks like, everything looks like a beach. It's... And every time you hear the explosion, there's a wave coming. But yeah, <laughs> loving it here. If you need to know the time, look at the clock. At the back, where the beach is. sauce well white chocolate sauce <laughs> got rem ranch dressing <laughs> so you do have the option for refillable drinks which are just here next to Joffrey's um, you can't use your refillable mugs it's 12 99 do you get a mug here though yeah, do. yeah. Uh, it's um, bigger than oh, so it's bigger than your so resort one these ones here. So if you're here all day, $12.99, probably worth it to be honest. I'd get one if we were here all day. Unfortunately, we're probably here for half the day. But we make the most of the sun and the water, beautiful surroundings. Might have a little bit of a look around, see what else is here. Um, yeah, have a, a wonderful, wonderful day. One other thing, if you have your phone and it's got a waterproof case, or even if you don't, if you've got a card loaded on it, you can use them and then enter a pin or whatever to pay for stuff. So since I've got this phone, I'll just use this to pay for drinks. So it saves us going back to the uh, back to the lockers all the time. Just one more. Ice chai latte. Ice chai. One ice chai, one 
Emily Gore. Sunset Emily Gore. Sunset Crush. Yeah. Sunset Crush. I'm sorry, give me a try. It's got some little like balls in it, it's really nice. Was it like boba? Yeah, kind of. I can do it, I can do it. Very strawberry. And I've just got the iced chai latte. Because I like chai latte, but a bit too hot for a hot one. Good. Good. Yeah, you can't go around with the chai latte. So we'll have these in our donuts, and then I think we're going to. Uh, yeah, we're going to the main pool. in the main pool for a bit and leave the phone here and. Uh, have a lovely time. Have a lovely day. So good how they made this look like like wet sand going into the sea. We've got people sat by the water. Emily's currently in water, even though she's not keen on uh, she's not keen on swimming or rough water, any water to be honest. But uh, yeah, I'm doing it. I've just been floating, thought we'd grab the phone. You enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah. Standing up. <laughs> Standing up and not floating. <laughs> what a lovely day. Hi, Bobbin. Bobbin along. Bobbin along. <laughs> Trying to float one handed. Huh? Trying to float one handed. It's bobbing around. In the water. It felt a lot warmer when, uh, when we got out the lazy river into here. I'm warm now. Oh, it's warm now, yeah, once we're in it. When we first got in, it was really cold. And maybe because we had cold drinks before. Yeah. No way am I going any further than where I am right now, which is in between three foot. 98 meters, 3 foot 19 meters and 4 foot 4 inches. Five minutes from this point and there's no one there. And then we just grab one of these. Yeet! And then we head on up these stairs. Ooh, Disney know what to do it. Do the carrying yourself. We're not supplying anything to bring the floats up for us. <laughs> and it is more of a trek than we thought coming up here. It's. Uh, you don't like stairs? Don't come up here, but you gotta go up to come down. And then you'll head off in down there. And then off we go. Here we go. They say hold on to the handles, but I need my phone. Let's, let's go in there. Uh, faster than I thought it was gonna wash. <laughs> Whoa. So that last bit was a bit, a bit more aggressive than I thought it was going to be. I got out way too early and went straight under the water. Did you? Yeah. Quite a shortish one. But yeah, it soon picks up speed. And then... Uh, oh, should we go on this next one? Is it a double one? Mayday Falls. We'll give this one a go. But yeah, that last one gets a bit, <laughs> a bit aggressive, especially uh, 
one handed. I went backwards the whole way back. Did you? These floats this time. Let's see how long the walk is this time. But yeah, that last, that last one was really good actually. Here's this one. So this one's a bit more of a lying down position. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is aggressive. <laughs> and we're out. Just made it. That one was good. A lot more rougher than the last one. Yeah, if you come here you have to go on the two rides because they are really fun. Second one was a bit more aggressive, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It's very bumpy. <laughs> we got thrown around yeah, it's a, a bit lot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> got thrown around a lot. So yeah. Woo. Just goes on exit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's fun. So, see what's next. We want to try and get on. Ah, this one's a family wrap one, so we'll go on that. It's called. Gangplank Falls, where the other two are that we just went on. Keel Hall Falls on the left, Mayday Falls on the right. Here's a bit more of the beach. Another refill station. So here's a view of when the waves come. See it bubbling away under there, hopefully. We'll get another blast soon. It's quite a nice little wave. Luckily this one, I don't think we have to carry the raft. Just get on in it. So I think this one will be a bit more tame with it being a, a family raft ride, so let's get on it. Yeah, you do have to take your raft up. It's a big one that you have to roll up. Adam's doing it because it's a little bit heavy for me to roll. <laughs> there we go. We're on. Emily always ends up going backwards. Yeah. Looks like. Uh, oh, you're going to the water. Am I going wet again? <laughs> 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 so you do get a little bit wet on this ride. Oh. <laughs> I told he was going to get this wet. So, you get a little bit wet on that one. You get wet on all of them. <laughs> yeah. Go to a water park, expect to get wet. Yeah. Really? But uh, I didn't think there'd be as many uh, waterfalls and things like that going on, but. Yeah, if kids don't like getting their face wet. They might not, not like it, but uh, to be honest, just don't tell them. You've got to enjoy it yourself, don't you? Forgotten Grotto. Don't know what it is. It's a cave. Yeah, I think there'll be the full-on tube slides. Like the single, just sit down ones. Or it might just be a, a walkway to uh, to nowhere. Or we could get a, get a raft back to our seat. Yeah. So here's a bit more of the lazy river. When you come in and you've got the waterfall. Typhoon Boatworks. These here, I think you can hire out. Yeah. 
area is reserved for a private event. Tilly's, so it's more fish. Yeah, it's a fish food and things like that. And then we've got the other one over here where yeah, we might get some nachos from here. You can get your doll whip if you're missing out on your doll whip. We haven't had one this year. And then you've got uh, so there are your different doll whips, nachos, fillable mugs, another. Oh, you can get a hey hey cone. I think we're gonna get some loaded nachos. So that one to the right is also type in Tilly's, just a just a smaller smaller part of it. And it sells some different stuff. So we got loaded nachos. Look really different good. Different colours. Yeah, I like it when they got different colours. I, I want to try the ones at Pop Century. Yes. Really. We have like Halloween ones. Because the one at, um, at Pop Century, if you get stuff on the quick service, not everything is on there. On the mobile order. On the mobile order, I'm sorry. So if you go and have a look around in the canteen area, you'll be able to get them then. Yeah, there'll be more. More choice. More choices there. Some of these. Can't go wrong with nachos, can you? Mm -mm. Try, so what we've got on them? Let's have a look, shall we? Sour cream, guacamole, jalapenos, spring onions. There's chili in there. There's some lettuce. Tomatoes. Tomato. All sorts of goodness. And the cheese, obviously. Nacho <laughs> cheese. Mine. Nachos. You know when you buy something and you wish you'd bought two? <laughs> That's this moment, but these are really good. So we are going to finish these bad boys up. We're going to hop back on the lazy river. We're going to go around and I think we'll head out, get the bus back to Pop Century. Get showered and changed. Head to Epcot, shall we? Hmm. Sounds like a plan. Beautiful. See you there. Yeah. And we are in a seating area just straight across from Typhoon and Tilly's, which is really nice. Got these cool wooden shack looking things. A load of tables. Lazy River going by. Floating past Typhoon and Tilly's again. in a sea of lights. So we've just got off the Lazy River yeah. and we're just going to head out of Typhoon Lagoon. Oh, we can get a picture there. Yeah. Yeah, um, we're head off, get, catch a bus back to the resort, have a shower get ourselves ready for Epcot. Yep. So this is the bus. So it says Disney Springs and transfer to Walt Disney Resort. So that's what we're needing to get to the resorts. Ooh, empty bus. Cold bus. changed head over to Epcot all right guys so I have changed my outfit 
from what I wore this morning to Typhoon Lagoon because um, coming back from Typhoon Lagoon it got a little bit wet because I kept my bathing suit on underneath so I thought oh I'll change. So this is what I'm going to be wearing to Epcot. Um, I feel like it's very a very good Epcot outfit so I wore this outfit um, last year at the Flower and Garden Festival um, and I thought I'll wear it again this year. So this top I'm not too sure where it's from. I bought it from Vinted um, so I'm not too sure where it's from and then these shorts are I bought from ASOS. Again I don't know the brand so <laughs> um, I'm not very good at finding these things out. Um, oh this top is from George at Asda it says on the label um, but I don't know when that would have been from. My sketches again and then some Disney pink Disney socks um, because comfort is key when you're at Disney. I made the mistake of wearing my flip flops the first day and it really hurt my feet. Um, for some reason they're not, not the comfiest for me this this time round. Last year they were fine but not this time round so I'm trying to stick to wearing my sketches as much as possible so make sure you have comfy shoes. It's a must. So yeah, that's my outfit for Epcot. It's my outfit of the day. My Adam Hatton t-shirt. Morning! Got that on, it's really comfy. Shorts by Decathlon, Decathlon, whatever. NMDs, really comfy shoes, which is what you need for going around Disney. So that's it, let's get going. Hi, you're right. Thank you. We have arrived in Epcot. Feels like five minutes since we're here. Yeah. yeah. We've got Daisy. Just meeting people on the way in and out. New characters around. Jack just behind us. So we had a look at the passport yesterday. Started marking them down. Forgot it. Forgot the passport. But, but we have an idea of what we're uh, what we're wanting. I didn't realise from here. You could just see in the distance the Disney Springs balloon. There it is. So we're just heading over to France. And have we got anything down on the treat for trying here? We don't want to eat too many things because we have a reservation for some light bites tonight. Yeah, it's Space 220. At 6.20. 6.20 at Space 220. So yeah, we'll head into France. Could maybe fit in another light bite, couldn't we? Yeah. Maybe. We'll have a look. Uh, oh yeah. And what was the other one? There was a Chinese, Chinese one that I wanted to try. So we'll head in front, see if there's anything here we're going to have a try of. And this is one of my favourite looking sort of areas. It's Japan. No, it just looks really impressive we need to have a good look around it we are here again tomorrow tomorrow afternoon so what we don't try today we will try tomorrow Characters. Do you remember any of their names? Nope. Nope. This is Isabel. Yep. And this one's. Yep, that one. Uh, Mr. Bergerman. They're like me. Impressive. 
pretty cool. I would not have thought these were cheap. Uh, 69.95 for the owl clock. Don't think I'll get that. Something a bit more si simple. Stegosaurus. Even one of them's 24.95. Seen quite a few people with these. Yeah, these are cheap. Yeah. Did it work? Well, when you're outside, it's just gonna blow more air. I know. Yeah. <laughs> We've had that before. Don't like that one. Don't like the matcha. No, thank you. Oh, we like wasabi then. Well, I like wasabi. Have some of that, please. And sriracha is nice. Yeah. So I didn't actually realise how big this Japan shop was. Because we've been to the area last time, but didn't actually come in here, did we? No. But it's massive. Worth a look around if you come here. Nice rice cakes, pineapple, light cheese, peach rice. Oh, loads of them. Orange. Oh, tons of apple. Mango. Marble. Ooh, high chews. These are nice. Have you had these ones before? Ooh, they're good. So these Hello Pandas, they are beautiful. Ooh, all of our different pockies. Ooh, coconut pocky. You do like coconut? 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 <laughs> candies. Great. Give me candy. All the different Kit Kats. Mm. And you don't get a lot no. for twelve ninety five, do you? No, there's not many in a mm. If that's much it, that can stay where it is. Oh no, not one. Is that one mint? I can't read that. I think it's mint. Chocolate. If it's matcha, no thank you. Marshmallows. Mm, nice. Mm, green tea marshmallows. Mm, no, nice. thank you. Not sure, don't like it. Hmm? Why? See, that shop in there is really big, and if you want to try different Japanese things, it's really worth going into to have a look around there. I have loads of stuff. It isn't cheap, and you don't get a lot in them. Like in the packets of Kit Kat, they were like twelve ninety five, yeah, weren't they? Yeah, you don't get a lot in there at all. It's a shame they didn't do one which was like a like a multi pack that had different ones to try yeah. maybe. Yeah, beach flavour. That'd be yeah. Uh, that would have been good if they did like yeah, just like one of each so you could try eight. Then I'd probably do it. Yeah, rather than commit into it buying a whole pack that you might not like. Hmm. Yeah. So if you could get like eight for twelve ninety five. I'd do that. Yeah. As long as it's not matcha, that's fine. It is really nice in this area, isn't it? it it's is. one of my favourite ones, definitely. Yeah. I'll show you around big. the area that we are in. <laughs> Miniature trains. I like it on the miniature train when a lizard comes along because it's like Godzilla. If you've ever seen one go on the track, it looks cool. Minding his own business. Germany. We ate in the beer garden restaurant, but we didn't like it last year. Oh yeah, we ate in beer garden. It was okay. No, I don't think it's worth the money really. It's, it's not great for kids. There wasn't a lot that Mesa could have eaten. No. 
if you're a fussy eater like I am, there wasn't much either. Yeah. But we did get the uh, Werther's popcorn. Yeah, that was nice. That's worth it. Snow White's out doing meet and greets behind us. So we're at the indie one now. And the one that we wanted to try was the curry spice cheese, crispy cheese, and the mango lassi. So I think we're going to give them a go. Okay, so it is very hot. As you can tell by the uh, beads of sweat. I just tried so, the so what is it? Uh, mango lassi. What's in it? Now? I don't know. Oh. I don't know if I like it. We didn't read the uh, thing properly. Tell you. Oh, it doesn't tell you on here. It's good. I don't know if I like it. I don't mind it. It's like a creamy it's like a mango sort of chutney tasting thing. So we've got the curry spice crispy cheese as well. So. Can you give that a try? And you got like a mango, mango ketchup. Like salumi. What's the uh, ketchup like? Nice. Yeah. Give her a give her a little dip. It's so hot today. Mmm. I do like that. Cheese is almost like a halloumi. And the outside, it's like a crispy, sort of curry onion bargy sort of taste. Yeah, it's really good. I'm impressed with that. Mm. So, we sat down in the shade because it is very hot today. Yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce what is actually in that. Mango lassi. Well, I don't think it tastes too bad. It's just very creamy. It says like a something chai cream. I quite like it. It's not really a refreshing. Like a refreshing drink, but it still tastes really good. Yeah, it's really thick. Okay, so I'm gonna head to China to get our next thing to try just because Emily's got a really good spot in the shade away from all this heat so uh, gonna go get it's a bow bun we'll show you then Okay, so on to our next one. This is the China one. We're going to be trying the this one here, the crispy duck bao bun, the hoisin sauce. And I think we're going to go for the passion fruit bubble tea. So the two we're going for here in China. So we've got our bao bun. Which is the crispy duck and poison sauce one. And then that is our... Passion fruit bubble tea. Was yeah, it? that's it. I'm going to give that one a go first. Yep. That one yeah. Fine. That's refreshing. Yeah, really good. It's weird having the bubbles. Mm -hmm. The bubbles are like... Mm. Oh yeah, I like chewing. That's mm. the first bubble tea I've ever tried. Yeah. You just got like I know, five. I, just, I just got like five <laughs> bubbles going then. I prefer it without the bubbles. Yeah. I like it. The chewy. So, I prefer just drinking. I don't know. Is that how they're supposed to be? Comment down below. Yeah, let us know how bubble tea is supposed to be. Yeah. Are the bubbles supposed to pop? Because we had... What's that one we had earlier? Oh yeah, we did have some bubbles on that. Um, is it called boba? On some of them? That bubble popped. 
But yeah, them ones literally. The one that, that you, I, that we had the time I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, I now. picked one up and it just popped in my fingers. Yeah. Where these ones are like chewy. Yeah, these ones. So, do you know if it's supposed to be like that? Yes. Yeah. Squishy. Yeah, I like them. I like gummy things, so. Yeah, that's good. We're gonna try the bow bun. What is it? Duck and hoisin. Duck and hoisin sauce, I think. Yeah. Give it a go first. Yeah. Not good. Oh, you can see the hoisin sauce coming out. That's so, nice. Grab it. You'll like that. Right up your street. I love hoisin sauce and I love, love crispy duck and I love dumplings. So. Mm. Yeah. Ten, please. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, mm. I, knew, I knew you would like this. I wish they were cheaper and you got more. Because I would have. I would have 20 of them. <laughs> Wants to be in the vlog. Yeah, it's cool. I like the colours of it. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Suits you. Hat. That hat suits you. Can you shade it? Yeah. I'm glad. Probably the, the and they got one. me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> These are cool. Mm -hmm. Imagine buying a massive one. I know. You walk around with it on. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Oh, yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Pink one? I have no idea. Yeah. Good. Suits you. So we're going to be doing the Grand Fiesta Tour. The three Caballeros. Uh, now we have eaten in this restaurant before. It wasn't that great, was it? No. The food that I had wasn't great. Actually, across, across like the path, was the outside one. That's actually better. So I prefer to do that than the sitting one, but this is nice to go on this ride because it's air con. Nice to get out of the sun, get out of the heat and uh, it's quite a fun ride to go on to be honest. It's just nice and chilled isn't it? So we've 
just got out the Mexican pavilion and we watched the three caballeros. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Crown Fiesta Tour. It's good. As always, nice and chilled. Get out the heat. It looks like there is a storm of brewing. It looks like there is rain happening over there. It's just before six o'clock now. Our reservation is at 20 past. So we're gonna head there now. We're gonna see what Space 220 is like. We can hear thunder behind us. So it's a good job we're going inside here. So let's head over there now. Yeah. Food looks really good though. Let's eat our food now. Yeah. 
we both ordered something else individually, but we're sharing. Just so we get to try more things. So, I'm gonna try the chicken and waffles, and there's a child in here that's screaming. Try chicken and waffles. Good, isn't it? That is really, really nice. I mean, I love chicken and waffles any day, but this is just like, it's not like normal restaurant food, is it? Mm. That is so good. So we've got short rib burgers. Emily's already tried some of hers. Is it good? This is our uh, short rib burgers, a nice crust on it. That is good. But it's cooked beautifully. Tastes sweet. Both really good choices. Yeah, we're just going to tuck in. We'll see you soon. Should have stayed in space. Oh. All right. Love it. Going around the living room. Yeah. I called it the thirty-five ninety-nine. They're twenty-five dollars. I would get one. Thirty-five. No. Pen. Nice, like that. If you can't tell by what we're wearing, it's raining. A lot. It is coming right now. That one's so much nicer than that other pen that I got. Which one? Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Oh, we need to do a, uh, a what we thought of. Space 220, may as well do it in here while we're looking cool. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. The food was really nice. It was really good. It was like... It's, you pay a premium price for good quality food. And the yeah. atmosphere, the whole experience was really good. So I would recommend it, definitely. It oh, was definitely. Good. It was worth the money. The food was class. The drinks were good. The service was really good. Yeah, the server we had, she was lovely. She was yeah. Nice. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say anyone's coming here, definitely go there. You won't be disappointed. We just, we just did like the 
the light bites. Yeah, we sat in the lounge, so we have the, the flight yeah. lights. It's yeah, so you still get the same experience in there. Um, and when you're in there, rather than watching it on YouTube, where the the black isn't as black as what it is when you're there. So it's more realistic, basically, if you are there in person. Yeah, it's really good. But no, it's really good. Five out of five. Yeah. Loved it. Loved it. Okay, so we got in the virtual queue for Guardians, and it's just been called. So we're gonna have to go in the rain to Guardians. Let's go do it. exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts, linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience. Welcome, people of Epcot, Epcotians, Epcotians, citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? Someone needs to tell me what I'm on. Welcome, Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Tal Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. No. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I, I am very serious about this. Now, please step forward into the chamber. You're gonna love this. It'll stay in the vlog, it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It's quite pricey for what you don't look like, isn't it? Is it? I think so. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I like that. 45. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's a cool. 
Watch that. Didn't say, means it's expensive. Uh, 65. 65. Guardian stuff there. Good stuff, isn't it? It's yeah. just it's quite pricey for things got yeah, everything's new, so it's Oh that's cool. Oh the ships, yeah. How much are they? Twelve ninety nine months. That's not too bad. <laughs> a little uh, $14.99 Star Lord helmet Cool So we've just got off at Guardians now Yeah, and it's both of our new favourite yeah, ride I absolutely it was, it. it was awesome We got really um, good. the conga song A good song to have I think I, um, I didn't know what to expect but it wasn't that um, no. I was really surprised It's cool, it's a really smooth ride I yeah, thought it, it was, was long, I thought it was really long Yeah, it was a good amount of time yeah. for a ride. Um, I had a lot of like belly tingles and stuff in there so it was yeah. like my, made my belly It was, it was really, it was really, really so, good. Yeah. Mate, it's one of them rides that we just wanted to be like, to get back on it. Yeah, but I could have just gone around again. Yeah. It was, it was we've got the we probably waited ship maybe in the background. 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah it wasn't um, too bad. Like it was walked straight through to the like the screen in there which you would have seen. Yeah. Um, but after that, it said not to film. So yeah, so we just didn't I'm a film it. And for the rules, so yeah, didn't yeah. Film anything, but and we didn't yeah, film just because we just wanted to enjoy it as well. It's it's quite hard sometimes when you're so, filming things, you can't actually enjoy it as yeah, much. Yeah, it's our first so, time on it. We don't know if we'll be able to get back on it again, so we yeah. wanted to enjoy it. And what we're going to do now because it's supposed to be the fireworks, but it is raining, it is so rain, we don't know so. whether it's going to be on or not. No, so we might just head back to the resort. Yeah, we'll, see. we'll have so, a talk about we'll it. And see. You know what we're like. Yeah. <laughs> we just go with the flow. Go with the flow. We try to organise things, but then we don't. Yeah, we're not very good at it. So, yeah, so we'll see what happens here and bring you along with us. minutes later hey guys we're back at the resort uh, we ended up leaving Epcot early cause it was torrential rain so uh, the Skyliner was closed so we ended up having to get a bus back uh, we did miss the fireworks but we didn't really want to stay with it chucking it down with rain so we ended up getting the bus we've got back to the resort on Uber Eats because it was nice and easy. Just got that now, so we're just finishing the video off here. So thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, give us a like. If you like our vlog series, if you subscribe to us and click the bell icon for any future videos. So thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. What? Sour cream. Walk. Say that again. <laughs> Soured cream. Walk. Oh, what are you laughing at? Soured cream. <laughs> Soured cream. I keep looking here. Uh, we'll get empty bus. Cold bus. How are we on now? Hang on, say that again. So that's what, um, sorry, got a pinch. <laughs> and then my sketches again. Oh, just nearly fall over. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try and my face. Whee! Oh, I'm uh, not used to the gravity. Can get a Ant Man helmet? Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about.